Hello, and welcome to this informal episode of This Weird Thing I Own, starring me and weird things that I own. So on this very informal, impromptu episode, we're going to be looking at this guy. This is the, let me turn it over so you can see it, Northrop Grumman Mark 7 iSafe Laser Target Locator. Um, it is, as the name says, a laser uh, laser range finder. It says target locator. I think that's really more just to be able to find the thing that you're targeting. Um, I don't know if it actually will pulse a laser long enough to use as a laser target designator. I don't have the manual for it, so I can't entirely tell. Um, but as the name or as it says, it is a laser range finder and it has, as you can see right here, the day mode where you just look through it and a night mode, which actually has an internal, I'm pretty sure it's a generation two night vision module or image intensifier. Sorry. Um, it looks through this lens here, which the outer, you could almost call it a sacrificial lens because internally these screw or these screws do not go through all the way to the inside of this. This is basically just a cowling to collect or a shell to protect everything. And on mine, unfortunately it is cracked, but uh, that can probably be replaced. I'm going to be getting another one later that will just only be for parts, I think. Anyway, the laser is actually emitted through this outer ring, or so I am told. Um, I cannot verify that because I can't really see the laser on it. Uh, even using, or well, using like my iPhone camera, I can't really see the laser on there. So, um, but apparently the lens being cracked does not interfere with the laser being emitted for range finding. Um, so on the back of it, you have the different settings here. This tape is actually glow in the dark, which is really cool. Uh, it doesn't glow for very long, but it does glow for long enough to be able to tell kind of where everything is. Um, you have off, which is off, obviously. This nice little metal aluminum switch on here, off. Brightness, which is just to adjust the brightness settings. You kind of just hold down the little fire button. There's really only one button to operate this. You hold down the button to increase or decrease the brightness on it. System, I believe these are like, the, or this is like system diagnostics. So it goes through uh, just internal checks to make sure that everything is functioning on it. And I think one of the last ones is it shows voltage. Um, DMC, I don't remember what that stands for. It's not DeLorean Motor, Motor Company, I can tell you that. Um, DMC, that's a really bad joke. Good God, I need to cut that out. Uh, DMC is basically just, it tells you um, one of the other really neat features of this is it tells you what your azimuth is or compass heading, basically. So out of like 360 degrees, it tells you where you are pointing. Um, and then it will also do elevation, which I believe is elevation relative to how the unit is pointing. So positive, negative elevation. Maybe it's like inclination. It has an E for elevation. So LST, uh, I am pretty sure is it takes multiple pulses. And then I believe it might be the average of what those multiple laser pulses are. And it uses those based on the last one. And FST, it takes multiple laser pulses. And then it makes an average based on the first one for what the range is to the target. And then one of the other features this has is this little plug right here, which is just a little cannon plug to protect it from getting damaged. This little cannon plug will plug into the dagger GPS system. And if I understand correctly, once you plug it into a dagger system and laser range to a target, it actually will tell you the grid coordinates or the specific coordinates of what, where that target is, not where you are, which is really cool. There's a lot of really cool features. This, um, this little thing actually has a plug that connects into it. And then it's like an old camera shutter where you just push down on it and that will fire that. Uh, 
yeah, it's a really neat unit. I think it's super interesting. Um, originally manufactured in like 2004. So this predates basically all smartphones. It's super cool. I love this thing. Anyway, this is the battery it uses. It's the size of a D-cell battery. It's a 3.6 volt. Um, this battery costs $20 for a replacement battery. It is non-rechargeable, it's a lithium battery. If anybody knows how I can get one of these that is that does these exact same things, but is rechargeable, that would be super. Um, it's $20, which is actually cheap compared to the original batteries, because the original batteries, I believe, were nickel cadmium batteries that cost $90 a piece. So yeah, they're kind of hard to get. Um, and on the topic of price, this unit, when it was released in 2004, there were probably about a thousand some odd units that Northrop Grumman made for the military. Um, the average cost of one of these was about $33,000. So not exactly the cheapest unit. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that because it's super cool and I just got it working. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to do a quick impromptu episode of this thing that I own. Um, maybe I'll actually start editing some of these in the future. We'll see.